Hello friends, uh, I'm Parwiz and this is our uh, 22nd video in PyQtf5 GUI programming with Python 3. Uh, in the previous video we have uh, covered uh, uh, how you can add uh, images in your PyQtf5 window and this is the previous example. Uh, in this video we are going to cover uh, a Q slider in PyQtf5. Uh, basically, I want to uh, make two videos for Q slider. Uh, our first video will be the basics of Q slider, and uh, in the second video, we will make a, a little complex example uh, with Q slider. Uh, okay, this is our first video of Q slider, and in this video, I am going to show you the basics of Q slider in PyQtf5. Uh, for this, I am going to make a new uh, Python file. I call it Q slider part one, like this. Uh, and like previous video, I copy my uh, window code from the previous videos, and I paste it in my new file, and I change this to Q slider part one. If I run this. Uh, if I run this, you can see that I have a simple window, uh, and I want to change this uh, to 400 and this to um, 300, the width and height of my window, uh, the height to 200. Yeah, now it's good. Okay. Uh, we need some imports in here. Uh, the first thing you need, you should add a Q uh, dialog um, or Q widget. I want to add a Q widget. <coughs> also, we need a Q line edit and a Q slider like this. Okay. Now, in here, uh, first off, and also we need a vertical box layout. QV box layout. Okay, this was our imports. Now in my init window, mm, I make a V box layout. QV box layout. Now I'm going to make a line edit self dot uh, I call it uh, line line edit q line edit and give it self okay uh, and uh, after that I want to add my line line edit to my vertical box layout self dot line edit uh, now if I run this you can see that we have a line edit in here. Okay. Um, now I want to move my line edit self dot move to hundred and fifty. Oh, sorry, I make a mistake. Self dot line edit dot move to hundred and fifty. Like this. If you run this, <coughs> you can see that uh, now our line edit is here. Uh, after this, we are going to make a slider. Uh, so dot slider q slider. Uh, now another import that we need in here uh, from pyqtf five dot qt. Uh, core <coughs> import Qt. Okay. Uh, basically, we have uh, two kinds of slider. Uh, the first one is uh, horizontal slider, and th the second one is uh, vertical slider. Uh, we are using horizontal slider like this. Now, if I run this, you can see that I have a horizontal slider in here, uh, and also. I want to change my Q main window to Q widget. Now, if I run this, 
you can see that I have a horizontal slider. Well, if I change this to vertical dot vertical and if I run this you can see that I have a vertical slider. Uh, for right now I need a horizontal slider. Like this. Okay. Uh, now uh, we are going to move our slider and dot move to 120. Yeah, now it's uh, good. Okay. Uh, it has some Q slider has some uh, uh, values that uh, we can set for them. For example, solve. Uh, mm, you can set minimum, you can set maximum, you can set value, and also you can set tech position for your slider. Uh, we are going to uh, cover one by one. And the first thing I need, I want to set uh, not set a minimum value. I give it one. Also, I want to set a maximum value. Set maximum, I give it uh, uh, 99 like this okay uh, now uh, if you run this uh, you will see nothing but uh, uh, now if I set my value dot set a vol uh, sorry uh, so dot slider dot set a value to 20 you can see now the slider is uh, beginning from the 20. Uh, if I remove this, uh, it will. Now you can see that it's from the 1. But if I give it 20, now it's 20. You can change the number. You can give uh, like uh, 50. And if you run this, you can see that we have uh, from the uh, 50. Okay, uh, let me change this this to twenty. Uh, after that, also you can uh, set uh, the tech position. What's tech position? Let me write this. Uh, basically, uh, uh, tech position. It is uh, small uh, lines uh, at the top or at the bottom of the Q slider. Okay, now uh, let me show you uh, slider dot. Uh, Set uh, tech position and give it a slider. It has uh, uh, tech below and tech uh, above. The first I show you the tech uh, above dot uh, tech above. Now, if you run this, you can see that we have uh, this kind of uh, small things in at the top, and also you can change this to below dot uh, tick below now if I run this you can see that now it's in the below also you can set your uh, slider and in interval uh, interval to your slider cell dot slider dot uh, set uh, tick interval to 10. After that, you can add your VBox layout dot add widget uh, self dot slider. Okay. Uh, now we are going to give a functionality to our this slider. When we uh, change this slider, uh, the value should be read in this uh, line edit. For this purpose, uh, we are going to define a method in here. Uh, def. I give it uh, changed value. <coughs> like this. Uh, the first thing you need, you should uh, give your slider value and uh, 
store it in a variable. I give the variable name size. After that, we are going to uh, set this value to our uh, uh, line edit dot set text and give it this size. And also, you need to uh, convert this to a string. Okay. Uh, now we are going to connect our uh, signal on a slot in here. I give it solve uh, dot slider dot value changed uh, dot connect solve dot changed value. Okay. Uh, this is my code. You can see from the top. And I will men uh, mention one thing that uh, in every video I'm copying my the window basic code because I don't want to write them again and again. Uh, if you want this code, you can uh, watch the first video. Uh, I have uh, explained the complete uh, code in the first video. Uh, now, if I run this, uh, you can see that I have a slider, and if I uh, change this, you can see that now the Value is changing. I have one uh, 49 like this. You can change the value. Uh, okay, thank you guys. Uh, uh, this was our Q sl slider, our first part of slider. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please subscribe the channel and also like the video. We will make a complete example on Q slider in the next video.